All right, I saw a tree at the Atlanta market that I loved. And so I wanna recreate that tree. And so right now, Pat and I are gonna to try to make uh, circles that will soon be a peppermint disc. So the first step that we're doing is we're putting a, or Pat did it, should I say, he put a screw in the middle of the space that we're going to make a circle. And the way we are doing this is we, uh, Pat, put a string around this screw and then we're going to draw, you wanna show them how you're doing that, hun? You're gonna draw a circle. You probably have to nod it, don't you? All right, and take the cap off. So that might work if the cap's off to draw the circle, right? Okay. You don't want it knotted. Oops. All right, I'll grab it this way. You can't because I got it. Just a certain way. <laughs> well, I guess you're gonna have to. All right, hold on tight. All right. Oops. Oh, that was almost perfect to the edge. Right. Now let's hope we match up over here at the side. If we do, it was a success. Oh, good. All right. So that's how we did it. You put a screw in the middle, put a string, and then put a Pat put a marker. You could also put a pencil. So this is step one. And then step two is we are using a jigsaw with a very fine blade and we're gonna cut the circle out. All right, the circles are cut and we used a jigsaw and used a very fine blade. Now this next step is we are going to paint the edge of the circles and then while it is still wet, we're gonna glitter it with red paint. So that's the next step. All right, I guess we're gonna call this step three in making the peppermint disc. So the circles have been drawn, they've been cut, and the edge has been painted with red paint and then glittered. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to peel off the backing that's on the insulation foam and this is gonna get a coat of white paint and uh, clear or white glitter. I don't know, let me see here, you guys, I'll let you know. I don't know if they call this, to me it looks really clear, but it's going to look white when it goes on top of white paint. This is the next step, that's what I'm doing next, and then I have to draw the actual peppermint shapes. That's my job for today, and I hope to get these done this weekend. paint onto the circle. You can kind of see it here. And then I am rolling this and then I will follow up and uh, sprinkle it with the uh, clear glitter. So I'm hoping that it turns out and I hope that it doesn't uh, mix with the uh, red. But I think being the fact that it is clear glitter, it wouldn't even really uh, show if it mixes together. I didn't notice that when I was at market in there. So hopefully uh, it won't matter either. Uh, this is, you know, a new project for me. So I will um, share with you anything that I learned. So if you guys try this, you know, maybe you can have better results. If something is a little um, tricky or doesn't turn out quite as well as I wanted. Now I traced, uh, I laid the paper on the center of the, uh, circle there because we have a spot where the screw was and um, I drew my little peppermint shape before I actually am painting this and putting the glitter on because I thought you know it'll be really rough if I try to uh, draw that shape why I have glitter on it so anyway stay tuned the painting went smooth the glittering went smooth now I, uh, I did, um, what I did before I glittered it, I actually laid the paper out and drew myself up a template because you know, you can't do that after you've already got the glitter on it. So I used like some packing paper and made my template. The problem was they're on a roll and it's very curly. So it would be very hard to trace. So I did iron this. My suggestion would be 
is if you have poster board around, make your template out of poster board. Then um, I did the first one. I cut the first one out and then I actually used the first, uh, uh, first one, this wasn't the first one, but I used this as my template and I traced it with highlighter. Then you can see here, I found out that when I'm using the jigsaw and I'm only cutting one piece of foam, that it moves way too much. So take two half inch pieces of foam, clamp them together and clamp them where you're not going to be using, like here's, here's my piece I'm gonna use because they do make an indention. And then I trace with the pink highlighter because it'll just cover up with the red. And I was able to get four out of this size sheet. And then this has more texture than the last one, but with the glitter, I don't think it'll show. That's my other tip. So this is what it's looking like so far. And when you go to put these on, they are not actually going to line up because of your center point. For some reason, it throws it off a little. So what I'm gonna come, uh, do is I'm gonna come back and score the underneath, and then I will get those all lined up. After that, then they are gonna get a, paint, uh, a coat of red paint, and then they will get glitter. But that's what it's looking like right now. There you go. Pat's helping me now because I'm exhausted. We are, or he's measuring the distance between the red, each red piece. And so now what we're gonna do is glue them on. And then when they matched up in the middle, they get offset here. So we're gonna shade that off, paint it and glitter it. And then it will be done and ready to go in the tree tomorrow. Woohoo! All right, the next step is, and I've probably said all right every time I started the video, but we're gonna paint this, glitter it, and all, and all the little spots, so there's eight of those. And then we'll let it dry, and then we'll cut a hole in the center, and then the two peppermint discs will be put in the tree, and I'll show you how that's gonna work. Hopefully it works. All right, so the edges were painted and glittered early this morning. Uh, this has been a multi-day um, project, and now we're ready to place the peppermint disc. Uh, we cut a hole in the center and a little bigger than the actual uh, trunk of the tree because I want to pivot it a little bit. And then we also raised the branches up in the back on the back side, and then we lowered them on the front side of this because I want it to sit at an angle. And I think we're gonna achieve that look. So I'll be back with more to share with you.